Hello, how's it going everyone? So today I want to make a video about how to apply for loan forgiveness. This is a very confusing topic and there's a lot to dive into, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to try to make it a little bit more simplified and very easy to understand. So I'm going to be focused on businesses, on people who are self-employed or sole proprietors who have no employees. Um, I'm only going to do this because there are three forms and we are going to be doing form 358S. Now this form can be used for loans that are 150,000 or less. If you got both first and second draft PPP loan, you must use a separate form for each. So on the form 358S, they're going to ask you some basic information about your company, the PPP loan amount, the PPP loan dip disbursement date, all this stuff, your cover period. So it's very um, important to understand these and I'll go into more details about what everything means. So here's what the form looks like. As you can see at the top, it tells you the form number is 358S, so make sure this is the correct one for you. We're only doing this for self-employed or sole proprietors, so if you have a side hobby, um, you do eBay, anything, and you have your Schedule C or whatever, this is for you and you have no employees. All right, so the first line, you're gonna be entering your legal name, so if you're a sole proprietor and you don't have a a registered business just write your name and last name if you do have a doing business as name or a registered business name just go ahead and apply that here and then you do your business ITN or if you're just doing a sole proprietorship it's your social security number this you will need your phone number the phone number that um, they can use to reach you if anything um, if anything comes up and then the business address is if you have a brick and mortar use that or if you're just doing a side hobby i would just use your your personal address just in case i need to send you something and in your primary contact you're going to use an email this is very important to put down an email that is very active make sure that you have your notifications on because the sba does like to send out a lot of emails so make sure to use the correct one and then check which one is the the forgiveness you're trying to apply to if it's the first or second one if it's the first, then just go ahead and click that. And then whenever you're going to go ahead and do the second one, remember you're gonna to have to do this form all over again. So on this one, you're gonna to have to know your PPP loan number and your PPP lender loan number. Now these numbers you can find on the contract sheets you were signing. You should get that number somewhere on there because when you're signing, they should tell you everything and even your covered period and stuff like that. After you figure out your number or you find it, you then you go and enter your loan amount. This is the full total amount that you got. And then the PPP disbursement date is the date that the loan actually hit your bank account. So that's the date that you will write on here. Employees at the time of the loan application. Now some people who are sole proprietors who don't have any employees, they just think they should write zero for because they don't have any employees, but I would recommend that you at least put down one and include yourself. So I would just write one just to include myself and then employees at the time, just one. Now the covered period is very important to understand and I know it can get a little bit confusing. So I'm gonna to try to explain it as simple as possible. So basically, what is a covered period? So the clock for spending your PPB money starts the day your PPP loan funds are dispersed or are deposited into your bank account. So they give you a time frame. You can choose eight weeks or 24 weeks of how long you have to spend that loan. So if you go 25 weeks and you haven't spent all your loan, then you run the risk of having to pay that loan back. So they do give you that covered period where you can, you know, that's just like a basic, like a, it's basically just like a timeline you have. And you want to make sure you're paying yourself, um, or bi-weekly and make sure you have documentations for all that. So it's important to understand that when you receive your loan, you can't apply for forgiveness right away. You have to wait those eight to 24 weeks, whatever you wanna choose. And it's very important because there's something called owner compensation replacement. Now this is really good for sole proprietors because back then the forgiveness wasn't favoring sole proprietors because the requirements were that you had to use that loan to pay yourself only 60%. Only 60% could go to payroll costs and the other 40% for non-payroll costs. So it was really hard for sole proprietors to get 100% forgiveness. But with the recent changes to the uh, Paycheck Protection Program, 
they allowed us to give us more flexibility in the loan forgiveness for self proprietors. So if you are self-employed and have a PPP loan, you can automatically claim a portion of that loan as a replacement for lost profit using a concept called owner compensation replacement. So because self-employed individuals such as independent contractors and gig workers don't pay themselves through payroll, this concept allowed them to simply claim a portion of their loan to make up for lost income due to the COVID-19. For loans approved after March 3, 2021 based on gross income, the portion you are allowed to, to take is called owner compensation share or proprietor costs. So this is very important if you were approved after March 3rd, these were when the changes were made. So who can claim owner compensation? Anyone who files with the form Schedule C can claim the owner compensation replacement. It does not matter if you have employees or not. And then people who have a Schedule F can also qualify. I know this is a little bit confusing because like a lot, but just stay with me because it's very important. So how much can you claim? PPP loans have a covered period of up to 24 weeks. If you use a covered period of at least 11 weeks, you can claim your 2.5 months worth of your 2019 or 2020 net profit as reported on line 31 of your Schedule C. Assuming your PPP did not include other payroll expenses, this would basically be your entire PPP loan. This is the exact formula you use to calculate how much of a loan you can qualify for. And then for the loans received in 2021 using the gross income without payroll cost, you can take the 2.5 months worth of your 2019 or your 2020 gross income as reported in line seven of your Schedule C. And then to do so, you must use a covered period of at least 11 weeks. So you have to wait 11 weeks and you have to spend all that money and then you can apply for forgiveness. And then essentially, you can get forgiven for the entire loan. So 100%. You don't have to uh, provide documentation of all the receipts. You just have to show proof that you paid yourself that 100% throughout the 11 weeks. So I wouldn't just pay myself all at once. I would like schedule it, pay myself bi-weekly or weekly. And if you have a business bank account, I would do that by writing myself checks and then cashing them into my personal bank. Um, but you have to wait the 11 weeks. And why this is important too is because you cannot apply for the second round PPP loan until your covered period is over, right? Because the covered periods can not overlap with each other. That's why if you go back to the application, it tells you the covered period right here. So if you choose a covered period from March 1st, to, I don't know, May 30, whatever the 11 weeks is, when you do your second draw PPP loan, and if you applied for the uh, second draw right away, you're going to run into some flags if the covered periods overlap with each other. That's why it's very important that you wait those 11 weeks. So if you're a sole proprietor, all you have to do is wait those 11 weeks, and then you can apply for forgiveness. You'll get forgiven for your full 100% loan, and, and then if you want to apply for the second draw, you can do that after the 11 weeks. So those are, that's what the rules say with the SBA. Um, I know a lot of people are saying you can apply for the second draw right away, but I would just go by the official rules. So yeah, that owner compensation is really, really favoring sole proprietors because essentially it is free money. Um, you can treat the owner compensation replacement as personal income and use it however you want with guidance allowing for 2.5 months worth of net or gross profit. That means that your entire PPP loan could be used for personal purposes. However, depending on your business structure, you may be required to pay income tax. Another thing, if you're doing the owner compensation share, so if you're doing that 11 week covered period to get the 100% forgiven um, loan, you can't accept unemployment benefits. That's one of the downsides, so you're gonna have to calculate if it's worth it or not. But then you can resume taking unemployment benefits after your covered period. So back to the application, make sure you understand your covered period. I know it can be very confusing, but I'm just trying to help you guys and make it as simple as possible. So I'm doing all the research for you guys, so if you guys really appreciate that, make sure to give a like and consider subscribing because I will be doing an update on everything until this whole program ends. So yeah, I would really appreciate that. So now the amount of loan spent on payroll costs, if you're a sole proprietor, self-employed, no employees, you can just write the full amount. So if our loan amount was 5,000, we'll just write 5,000. And then the requested loan forgiveness amount is 100% of that, which would be 5,000. 
And then lastly, you just got to read everything. Make sure you read everything. Um, and then just check the boxes, initial them. You guys can go ahead and read this. And then at the very end, you can sign it, date it, print your name, and then your title. So that's basically it. It's um, This form is pretty simple. Remember, it's called the 350 OAS. And you want to make sure that you apply directly with your lenders. So I used Wampley. And they are a third party, so they paired me up with my lender. So I would have to go and use the lender that they provided me. So my lender was Fountainhead. So if you go on their website, they'll give you an option for their PPP loan forgiveness. I'm sure this is the same for all lenders. So whoever your lender is, you can go on there and then you start your application. And then you'll just fill out all your basic information. Um, that is it for this video. Um, I hope I can give you guys an idea of how the loan forgiveness process is. It's not as bad as it looks. It just takes a little bit of um, research. If you like the video, please consider giving a like and consider subscribing as I will be doing updates on this throughout the whole PPP loan forgiveness program. And then remember that the, that the program has been extended. So now you have until May 31st to submit the application. So that means you still got time to apply for that first round. But I, I wouldn't wait because you never know if the funding will run out. Um, there's not an unlimited amount of money. You guys got to remember that. So I would recommend you guys apply as soon as you can and just so you have that time for them to process all the paperwork. Um, that's it. Um, thanks for watching.